The following feature is not rated. In 1979, a documentary called Scared Straight was televised throughout America. The story you are about to see was inspired by that documentary. However, all the characters, incidents, and locales portrayed in this story are fictional. No resemblance to any person living or dead or to any actual event is intended. trouble. Rules. Read it good. Center gate. George, too. Okay, Davis, you got a mandatory 15-hour lockdown as a new arrival. Get your head together, hippie child. Tomorrow you start prison. What do you call this? This is a room for the night. Prison is when they unlock it. He's your counselor. Monroe, Cutler, and Alford. How you guys doing? Feeling all right? Good. Glad to hear that. Just follow me. Come on, come on. Hey, where are we going, man? Hey, driver. I guess it's death. I mean, let it smell the air, man. We're free. Hey, don't it feel good to be going home, man? Serious business. No more medals. Hey, Mr. Get up for you. This is home, man. Home, home, home. Hey, man, can you drive this thing? Take those brakes and grab a little. Hey, Mr. Paul, can you drive this thing, man? Really? Mr. Paul. Hey, where are you? Hey, just hanging out, man. All right, hey, champ. Hey, 
place, all right. Good shot. Yeah, good, clean fun. Nice. As long as you got the money to pay for it. All the games are free, Sam. Free. This way. Okay, we're not going to get into anything today. I just want to make sure everybody understands the rules. These sessions are a condition of your parole. You're to meet here at the center Tuesdays and Fridays at 4 o'clock. Are you listening, man? Yo. If you miss even one session, I am required by law to report it. You could end up back at the Meadows. So all the games ain't free. I hope that you'll uh, come by the center between rap sessions, you know, hang out, use the gym, games downstairs, whatever. Later, you'll be getting into larger groups, but not at first. And nothing that you ever say in this room goes beyond these walls. Any questions? Yeah, man, when we get out of here. I'll go call your parents, have them pick you up right now. You don't want a little taste first, man? Those guys hanging around. What kind of rip-off game is this? Oh, no, man. That's my little brother. Yeah, yeah. Just give me some stuff. What we got here? I don't know. Nice band. Look at it. The bed, huh? Nighttime. You ain't got no refrigerator. Need a TV. Nice. And this is good shocks. some young brothers hey, right here. Hey, the chances is good. Man. All right. <laughs> man. Always Ooh. keep it so. Look at our world. They loose again, huh? Say, look, man, you still in business or what? Hey, any little brick of rack come my way, brothers? You little man need some uh, capital? Why, no. Always. No. <laughs> hey, yeah. Really? Hey, man, have you seen any of my watches around town? Say, they wearing them all over town, brother. All over town. All right. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So hold on to these for me, will you? Yeah. Hey, I'll catch y'all around the house now, huh? You good? Thanks, yeah, hey. 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 Look at here, baby. Hey, hey man, hey. here, woman alone, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, blood. Why not? Hey, man, ain't this my 
watch, man. Hey, man, you stole my watch, man. You told me for the watch, man. For God's sake, Junior, give him the money. Yeah, give him the money, Junior. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. Hurry up. Smart. Next time somebody answer, just give it to me, man. Take my man's watch. Don't be taking my man's watch. Hey, man, watch it, all right? All right, Tiwi, you get five, all right. you get five, all right. I'm going to get this ten. Hey, wait a minute, man. You owe me five dollars, man. man. All right, wait a minute. All right, I'm going to go another five for you. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Y'all hold my money. What's I'll that, be right there, man? Just hold it right there. I'll be right back, blood. Hey, man, Whoa! Okay. Hey, man, what you going to do? Don't be getting up, baby. What you going to do? Hey, man, let me get back in there. Still playing the fool. So? So, it's time he growed up, man. Us too. I mean, it's, it's ripping off poor niggas, man, and kids on buses. That's a raggedy act. You gotta move up to the big time. Man had my watch. You had your watch. taking his time. Are you sure we can find this place? Oh, yeah. We've been here before. Really? I never figured that you two. I mean, for so long, Rack and Betty Taylor have been Betty good. Taylor? Oh, kiss me, Rack. She turns out like a mechanical monkey. You just throw the switch. Yeah? <laughs> You got it, man? Yeah. Do you? Check it out. <laughs> Speaking of beer, you're out, you're out, and I'm out. I'll be right back. Hey, hon. Give me three more of those beers, Hey! <laughs> hey, what about your friends? Yeah, you buddy. Buddy. They're in the other room. I'll okay, get I'll them. take care of the beer. Lucy, you're home early. Yeah, just getting a soda. About my dad, all right? No, no, it's it's not your father, Luce. I had quite a scare today, just when the deal was coming down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these three really tough-looking kids come up around the car, and I'm sitting there with four hundred in my lap. What happened? Oh, nothing. I mean, one of them was the dealer's brother or something. Uh 
-hmm. But God, I thought sure it was a ripoff. And then when I when I went to leave, one of the guys walked off with my headset. And I just stood there. I mean, what could I do? My first thought was, I gotta get me a gun. <laughs> Can you see that? Me with a gun. I couldn't believe it. I was so paranoid. I drove around all day. I thought everyone was following me. Well, but you got it, right? You always come through. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm Superman or something? Yeah. Hmm. I do. Lucy, <laughs> open the door! Lucy, open up! Just a minute! He might be getting away. All right, where is he? Where'd he go? He's outside. I didn't want you to see that kid anymore. I told you he was gonna be... Excuse me, sir. I'm a narcotics officer, miss. Open the drawer. No. Lucy! Open the drawer. No. You rat little fuck! I told you to stay away from my daughter! Oh, you all right, right now. Relax. All right, I'm okay. Come back. I'm okay. I'm okay. You hear that? Come on, you free. I'm gonna get him, Lucy. I'm gonna make them put him where the sun never shines. I swear it. Almost all night after we left the police station, we finally come to a decision. We're taking you out of school here. We're going to send you to Holy Name in Vincentville. Vincentville? I don't want to go there. Just consider yourself lucky. Your grades are good enough. We got the money to afford it. Dad, I'm a junior. I want to stay here. It's settled. Did you hear any of what that police officer had to say to you last night? You better hope that the DA dismisses this case. <laughs> you better hope the judge doesn't... Ma, Lucy, how could you do those things? Steal from the stores, take that dope, make a boy in your room alone and unbutton your blouse. I want you to tell me how far it went with that Rakowski kid. Dad. How far? How far? All the way, okay? Frank. I told you I didn't want you to see that little punk anymore. Dad, nobody is forcing me to smoke dope or, or steal things, and I know it may be wrong. May be wrong? But don't blame Rat for everything. You don't know him. You never tried to know him. He's just a bad kid to you. That's it. A lot of people agree with me on that. What do you mean by that? Look, we're talking about your future here, not his. It's the same thing. I love him. John. Look, Mr. Loring, the procedure with a repeater like Rakowski is clear. This office investigates his activities and his record. If there are any grounds to deny him the protection of the juvenile system, we will present them to a judge at a hearing. At the hearing, we're going to try and establish... Let's a machine reader. Protect one dope pushing punk. It protects innocent kids, too, sir. This one's a punk. Your opinion. Yeah, that's my opinion. Of course, I ain't no social professor. I just work in a steel mill. So I guess my opinion ain't worth your time. Is that what you're saying? No. I'll be glad to take your statement. There's plenty of other people like me with statements, too. Fine.
Jones, if I didn't know better, I'd say you was actually motivated on this job. <laughs> Me motivated? Lazy, retarded cracker. Shiftless nigger. I hear they're paying five packs for him. Five? Inflation. Besides, he ain't been in here that long. Still a woman of mystery. Okay, let's line it up so we can get a good count. Come on, Slick, move it out. John, we got one missing. Who is it? Come on, let's go, man. It's Davis. Jones, go find him. Come on, man. Move it out. Come on, boy. Ain't no place for you to hide in here. Listen to them, man. They're gonna kick your butt for holding them up. Look, man, I know you got problems, but you'll get over. See, the main thing is to get over. Now, I've known dudes a lot worse off than you, and they got over. What kind of game you trying to run, you stupid? What's the problem, man? Cease with the rock and roll, huh? Hey, Bobs, if you kick my bunk again, man, you're gonna see what the problem is. Hey, your tortured soul ain't none of my business, and I ain't the ghost of no bank guard. Man, I'm telling you, I gotta take this junk from you. Grab him, man! Come on, come on! I don't hear it, your joke! I don't hear it, your joke! Get that light out of my face, man. Somebody's gonna have to move out of this house. And it ain't gonna be me. I ain't going no way either. <coughs> Rick. Yeah. I know. It's a bad joke. What is it, man? A young punk twisting slowly in the wind. Yeah. Were we ever that young and that stupid? That kid was an old man, Rafe. It just seems like 18 is old these days. I mean, when I got started, I was a kid. Six or seven, you know? One raggedy little nigga on Jump Street. Man, we had that whole street dicked. There wasn't nobody over there that didn't give us no special treatment. We used to get free wings from the chicken place. I even got free beer, man, from the back of the store. Cat used to give us free shoes, free candy, anything we want. Young Mr. Jones, you want some shades? Here, you sure would look good with them on. Go ahead, put them on. Just don't you be paying me no midnight visits, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, know, I know what you mean. Then we... we got older. 
started to like them girls. All of a sudden, we needed money. Them banks started looking real good. Man, we were so cocksure of ourselves. I thought all we had to do was just boogie in and wave our zip guns. put the FBI on us. The FBI on a bunch of kids. But you know something, man? Mm. Back then in them Jump Street days, you know, if my mama tried to keep me in the house, even for one night, it seems like I'd go crazy, man. I just had to be out there on them streets. I had to be. You put me out there on them same streets right now, I wouldn't know the difference between my butt and a broom handle. You see? There really ain't no difference between that punk out there and us. Yeah, man. We was that young. Jail ain't so much. A lot of the brothers inside are just dudes you knew on the street, that's all. I mean, what you gonna do when you're in there, huh? Kick back. Pump some iron. You know, keep your body together, that's all. Look, y'all can get over on anything if you're down with the right people. Dead. You know? My lawyer. Mm. Y'all should have seen him. Slick. <laughs> Y'all should have seen that jive time prosecutor when my boy pulled his chain. Man jumped up and said, oh, say what? <laughs> say what? <laughs> hey, Paul, baby. I'm just here escorting my little brother in for his first rap time. Yeah, yeah all right, cut the crap, Thaddeus. There's the door. Hey, you can call me the doctor, man. Yeah, I'll call you the doctor when you earn a degree, man. But right now, you ain't nothing but a common pusher, you know? So why are you lying to these kids, man? Hey, look, I ain't lying to nobody. Hey, you know county jail is some of the worst time you can do, man. So what are you lying for? Answer the question, hey, man. Hey, look, why man, you you're pushing on me, all right? Listen, Listen you can talk that slick trash out in the street, but I ain't having it in here, man. What? Say what? Hey, look, man. Hey, look. Ow! Hey, get off of me, man! Man, that's an... Thaddeus, man. Hey, man, name that's the name his mama give him. So was that your solution to everything, man? It, what, what? That's your solution to everything, huh? You just kick some poor nigga's ass, huh? Well, if he wants to tell the real story, I'll let him. Real story? And hey, what the hell you know about real, man? You jive time, nickel dime, popcorn cracker. You go running home in the suburbs every night listening to your crickets and birds. You know what we got around here? Tell him. Huh? What? You go up on that roof some Saturday night, suck and listen. You hear sirens, you hear glass busting out, you hear alarms, you hear babies bawling, people crying out for help, yeah. and guns. 20 shots a night. Now, you tell me something, man. You tell me how many dead or messed up folks is that? Well, is that your excuse for messing up? What excuse, man? What you see is what it is. So what am I supposed to see? Three young niggas off the street, man. You see an unlocked house, you run it. That's the only way you're going to make money in your pocket around here. You see, uh, we don't make $500 a week like you do. <laughs> Yeah, try 265, Sam. And that's only because I got a master's in social work, all right? All right? All right, that explains it. Good. You the master. 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 <laughs> so, James, what'd you do to your hand, man? Skateboard. I was being told by this white gentleman, and... Then, hey, he decided he don't want to tell me no more. So then I wiped out. Damn! <laughs> what? What, that's funny? Seeing James rack up his hand? Hey, he's demented. Yeah, I'm demented. What was funny was when we stole their car, their faces, <laughs> the 
only white faces for miles. <laughs> <laughs> These two dare you into that stunt, James? No, man. I just did it. But they laughed. They liked it. So what? Is that the only time they ever pay attention to you is when you do something demented? No. Hey! Hey, you thief! Hey, you stole my watch, man! I ain't got no watch! It is! Give me my watch! No problem, man! Hey! hey. think I'm crazy, man? The dude had a piece. Yeah, you do. You think I'm demented, huh? Well, my life ain't no super fly movie for you, man. I ain't down on no man with a gun. Snowman. By that I don't wish I was back running this place. Yeah. I wish you were here, too. You know, I mean, at least you're the right color. Don't let him run that game on you, Paul. Anyway, I can't stay. I just wanted to bring you this. Mm. It's from the warden at Scully. They're having a meeting out there next week, and they wanted somebody from my department. It's about juveniles, so uh, I figured... Uh, yeah, sure, I'd be glad to. Okay, gotta go. See ya, Ace. Listen, Gene, you tell the mayor that when he kicked you upstairs, he lost my vote. Bye-bye. Bye. Not just any kids, you understand. We're talking about kids in trouble, the lawbreakers. You people on the outside would have to pick them. And if you can just bring them in here for a few hours and let some of us inmates talk to them and tell them that if they deal in crime, this is where they end up. Uh, who would be in this group, Carl? Well, we've been talking pretty intense to about six or seven dudes, black and white, uh, all doing big time. But uh, Rafe Harlan and me were like the central committee. We did the writing. We'll be sure to read it carefully. What it is, to sum it all up, we get pretty angry at seeing a bunch of kids come through here, kids like we used to be, doing five and 10-year bids, all because they thought they were too bad to listen to somebody trying to straighten them out. Now, you people on the outside, you do a good job. But we qualify, too. We've seen what it's like on both sides, you understand? Now, I don't want you to make no snap decision, but you think on it. Because we're all behind it. It means, it means a lot to us, Warden, to be able to do something in here besides our time. All right, thank you, Carl. Ken. Okay, let's go. Of course, this is not a, an entirely new idea. There have been a number of similar programs in other prisons. What the... Uh, may I, Can I move this? Oh, oh uh, yeah, sorry. These other programs, what were the results? Well, generally good. There is uh, some debate, but... The key element is strong motivation on part of the inmates, and, well, I think we have that here. Well, I'm always in the market for a new tool I can use from the bench. Uh, it won't cost the taxpayers a dime, Henry. What do you think, Paul? 
Well, this uh, proposal isn't written all that clearly. I only have a vague idea of the kind of session they intend to run, but I think anything's worth a try. It's an opportunity to talk with the inmates about their lives. Now, juvenile judge Henry Wadsworth has recommended your children for the program. Now, of course, it's completely voluntary, but I would hope that you'd all sign these releases so we could get started next weekend. So, any questions? Mm -hmm. I'm Sam Cutler's mother. I'd like to know what Miss Jean Lewis thinks about all this. Well, I, I really don't know as much about it as um, Mr. Well, Taylor. you may not know about this prison thing, but you know this neighborhood. You're black. You're one of us. And I ain't sending my Sam to no prison until I talk to you in private. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's, okay. Good. that's fine. I don't understand why you want my daughter to talk to a prison inmate. Well, I've, uh, as I've already said, the idea of the program you is that the inmates... People in your programs! People. I see where the money goes. It goes to protect the guilty. Well, besides, some... my daughter wants to talk to a hardened criminal. She didn't have to go to prison. She's been dating one for the last two months. Who do you wait think you are? Listen, I'm the guy that should have beat oh, the living car out of your Mr. son. Mr. Loring, Loring the first time he ever hey, came to you have around around my car. car. Please, Mr. Loring, try to control yourself. I mean, let's keep the questions to the point, hey. shall we? Please. Mrs. Rakowski? I think you should apologize. I, I think you should apologize, too. Well, now that we're off to this kind of a start, maybe I should uh, reiterate what the program is all about again. As I said, the, uh... Sit by me. contents out of your pockets to include all rings and jewelry. Pass through the scanner one at a time. Just hold the noise down back there. All right, come back around here, young man. You didn't clear. Spread your arms out.
you'll remain in your seats and shut up until somebody tells you what to do next. Is that clear? This is the shower room. It's uh, it's about 50 yards down the hall. And uh, what sort of security have you provided the children? There are two entrances. We have a uh, single guard posted on each entrance. Oh, man, telling you, Sharpie, we're just a little bit nervous. And remember, we're watching. Uh, think it'll work? I hope so, man. But I stopped believing in magic the day I bought my first shaved deck. What we're trying to get you guys to understand is that, I mean, there's no difference between you guys and us. I mean, the same stuff that you guys are doing now, I mean, we did that when we was a kid. And that's how all this gets started. Well, hey, man, was you smoking reefer back then? <laughs> that's a stupid question. You think they just discovered marijuana yesterday, you idiot? It was alcohol done it. What do you think? It's just what I was afraid of, Ken. The kids will take control if you let them. What reason you got for to be doing this crime? How else are we supposed to get money? Get a job. Hey, brother, you give me a job, man. I'll take it. Hey, man. Diploma doesn't mean much these days. Hey, well, how would you feel if somebody ripped you off? I'd rip them all back. And then what? Gets me even. I get you nothing. Yeah, man, well, hey, you can't let nobody chump you off like that. He's trying to get me from your man. Man, let's send him back, man. We still got some stuff unresolved. What did you say? What did you say? We got some stuff unresolved? I said no, man. I heard what you said, fruitcake. What the hell you think this is? You think I'm your social worker? You think I give a rat's ass what you got resolved? You think you're bad? You think people are supposed to be scared of you? Well, here's a big, fat, white face sticking in yours, nigga! Nigga. You got one shot. Throw the punch, I'll show you how we resolve things in here. Mm -hmm. Do it now, so I'll keep before I bite off the rolls! Do it! Do it! My God, Ken! No! Look at that face. Punk. Even the diploma don't help much these days. I can't believe what a pop thing you said. And you white. Spit on spit spit that face. Spit in his face, man. That's for your problems. I ain't got time for your problems. But you end up in here, you gonna make time to help me with mine. You know what I'm talking about, punk? Do you? Shut up, punk! You don't know nothing. Man, it's beyond me. That's the dumbest pile of garbage I ever looked at in my life. I can't deal with it no more. I'll deal with it. What's your name? James. What? James. James. James, you want to know what my name is? It is Mr. 59922. What's the name of this place? Prison. No, nigga, the name. Sit up! Everybody sit up. Put your feet in. Sit up! Man. Keep your eyes on Oh, pretty oh. boy. See, that's what Jews on the outside call it. You want to know what we on the inside call it? Huh? Skullsville. The skull. A nickel in the skull. That's five years. I'm doing six nickels. Now, you might ask yourself why we call it the skull. 
And you probably think, because a lot of dudes get their hands laid open in here, and you'd be right. See, because if you ain't never seen a man trying to hold his brains in his head with his hands, because some sick, whack old punk just split it open with a piece of pipe, and you, girl, if you ain't, I tell you to take that off, put it back on! The hell, you ain't at home, boy. What I care about you taking off your jacket to be comfortable? And if you ain't never seen a man staggering down a long, dark corridor because he's got a four-inch piece of sharpened steel hanging out of his neck, we got that too. Don't y'all despair, because you're going to see it when you get here and you're coming here. I know you are. See, I've seen everything in this prison, so y'all ain't bringing nothing new in here. Or maybe if you ain't never seen 1,507 murdering, raping, stealing bastards at close range. Don't you despair, brothers. None of you niggas, white or black. Don't worry about it, because we got that too. And it'll be right here waiting on you, because you want to come here with me. Stand up, boy. Stand up! Stand up! What's your name? What's your name? Smash. Smash. You think you bad, Smash? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you bad. Nigga, I'll rip your ear off your head and shove it up your butt so you can hear me kicking your ass. Punk, I am bad. You looking at 190 pounds of murder in front of you. I play for keeps, Junior. Don't come to my house if you can't pay my respects. You understand what I'm saying? See, I take a dumb young fish like this and this little bitch over here in each hand and I'll take them to different places right here in this man's prison and I'll leave them. And she'll be so bored, she'll be filing her fingernails and yawning. But not you, brother. No, I guarantee you, you won't be bored. You'll have all your time filled. And they love young skinny things like you with tight butts. See, you'll go over big in here, Jack. Don't roll your eyes up into me, boy. Because we can get it off your chest right in here. You got something you want to resolve? Huh? You ain't got nothing you want to resolve. See, there's young pretty things in here that come and think they can change things. That's what we resolve, man. We resolve your whole attitude. Stand your ass up. I ain't through with you. Sit down. Sit down before I knock you out, because I ain't got time to play with you. See, all y'all out there doing that monkey business, this is prison. This is not a playground. We play for keeps. We take down names and death. That's it, boy. See, prison don't start the day you get in here and they lock you up in the cell. That ain't prison. Prison is when they open those gates and you got to come out here and deal with me and survive. That's prison. If you're ready to play that way with cats who's in here that's used to ripping off punks like you and survive, maybe you got a chance of hanging on. If you ain't, boy, you're out of your league. Stay the baseball or whatever the hell you do out there in the street. See, your sentence start the first day you can't remember what it's like to be on the outside. And your sentence start the first time you get a letter from home and you're glad you got it until you open it up. And it reads, your mama done said they can't be making it out here every week to see you no more. Because it's too far and they ain't got the time. When you ain't got a damn thing to do in here but wait, because you ain't got nothing on your head but time. That's prison. See, all you smart fools. You think you got an edge on everything. You think you're going to come in here and run this like you run the street. Baby, it don't work like that because we already own it. This is my house, Junior. And I ain't giving up no mileage for nobody. But that ain't even the real reason we call it that. It's because it gets in your head. Bitch, look at me. If I have to tell you one more time, I'm going to slide your ass out that chair. You're up every morning at 6.15, whether you want to get up or not. And you're in bed by 10.30. That's every night. And there's bells. They got so many bells in here. Bells to tell you when to eat, when to take a crap. Bells to tell you when to sleep. Bells to tell you when not to eat. They got so many bells going off in here that when bells don't ring, I think something's wrong with me. And I ain't never met a man in here yet that can keep these bells out their head. And I sure as hell don't see one in here. Hey, get your hands out of there. Handle it, man, because I'll knock somebody on their ass. OK, hurry. What do we got here? What's going on? You guys together? I mean, your friends? Yeah. Kind of rough in here, huh, girl? Put your arm around the lady. Do it! Ain't it gonna be heavenly? 
When he's off in here and he has to turn tricks to stay alive, and you have to stuff dope in your body and bring it to him through the visiting grounds, that's going to be heavenly, isn't it? All of you! And you think that this is some damn game. You ain't stopped to think if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to end up with your skinny butts in here. And you! You think that you're romantic, don't you? Used to. It's the smartest thing you've said today. All right, we're out of time. All right, the guy's going to be giving you a, a card with a phone number on it. Now, you call that number if you need some help or you're in trouble of some kind. You feel like you're going to get into some trouble. When you call that number, it's a direct line to one of us. Talking about 24 hours a day. You'd rather be woken by that phone ringing than hear you screaming from the next cell. And those are the choices. All right, move it out. Come on, let's go. Get up! Move it out. Move it! Listen up. It's been a long morning. I think uh, you should all go home now for a couple of hours. Just be by yourselves. And then we'll meet back here at 4.30, and then we'll look at the whole thing then, all right? All right, see you then. Little brother, how was that trip, man? Weird, man. Yeah, the joint's a pretty heavy place, huh? You never been in. Look, I got a package to pick up. I don't think so, man. I got to go to the center later on. Hey, you'll be back, man. Ain't nothing to it. Just watch the car. You dead? Huh? There's a hundred in it for you. So, James, what do you, uh, what do you think of, uh, Scully, man? Hey, man, I mean, I want to stay out of that place. You know what I mean? But... But what? Well, but, I mean, hey, man, look, I'm 16 years old, man. I don't even know how to read a comic book. I mean, I mean what it gonna be like for me in 10 years? You can learn, man. You're not stupid. Oh, man, I done tried that. I mean, I... I go to school, man, and they be passing me from one grade to the next grade, man, and I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm reading, man. And the teachers, they don't even care. And I be pretending like I don't care. And my friends, and I just be playing the fool for them. No, man. Man, don't be jumping me off saying. That's right. That's right, James. You see, you're not playing at nothing now. You're seeing it real. He is I jumping you off, I man. swear if I'm seeing it real, man. That ain't gonna teach me how to read. I can do that. No, you can't You're teach me. You saying I can't? Yeah, yeah you yeah, can't. Teach me. Listen, man, I, I gotta say something. See, what I've been doing is taking. See, I take. I'm the boss, in control, right? But what I saw there is those guys, they take from you. And they take everything you got. That's right. And like, uh, what I may want, they don't care. I mean, there's not one guy in there, and I'm the guards, too. There's not one guy in there that cares about me. And, uh, I just want to be somewhere where somebody cares. That's it. I don't see how they stand at being in that place. <sighs> oh, well, they'd just be bad, man. You know, you could get over anything if you're down with the right dudes. Who said that? <laughs> All right, all right, I know that was a line of bull. So, all right, you got something you want to share with all of us, Sam? I don't share nothing. I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. Please do. I'm thinking that I don't want to be in there neither. I'm thinking I got more respect for my mind and body than to lose it in the skull. So you're going to clean up your act or what? Yeah, I am. Because I ain't going to give you people no excuse. 
you and your system of justice. I mean, because look at all them niggas up in there. And I ain't talking about nobody's race or skin color, nothing like that, because we all be niggas up in there, right? But I learned something today. I learned, I mean, that white dude jumping off of my face talking about, he's gonna bite my nose off. <laughs> I mean, that don't happen. I ain't never been chumped off like that by no white dude. So color don't mean nothing. Because like the dealer, right? Now, he could get a stretch in the meadows just like me and James. He'd be eating the same food and doing the same things. And them dudes in the White House, they did them things, huh? And they give them a year on some Air Force base oh. with a golf course and a barbecue. Hey, come on, don't blow it all out of proportion. Man, they... You asked me what I was thinking, master. That's it. Sam. Man, look, I said I was gonna go straight. What you want from me, a lie detector test? Hey, I know you want to, man, but I just don't think you're gonna be able to. <laughs> you're like a bomb, man. You're just ready to explode from all that pressure you got built up inside you. You gotta find some place to let it out. You gotta find some place to vent it, you know? I mean, put it on me if you want to. I don't care. Come up to the gym and punch the bag. Do something. Then just don't let it explode out there on the streets where you got no control over. So Smash didn't make it, huh? So now what you gonna do? You, you gonna call the pigs on it? He's violated his parole. I don't believe you, man. You know that? You want it both ways, don't you? No strange up here, you know? I ain't strange. Oh, yeah, you strange. But you okay. <laughs> Samuel! Ain't got some good blow, brother. It's pure as the driven snow, my man. No, nah, man, I ain't into that tonight. Leastwise, if you change your mind, you still got a nose. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you almost got that organ bit off. Come on, man. The dude was almost twice his size. You wasn't twice your size. Oh, man, that clown show. I heard that you and James were supposed to be good boys from now on. Heard that old Domini was playing up real cozy-like to the master. Yeah, well, he's got his reasons. Well, what's yours? Look, I didn't see I was gonna be good, all right? I'm, I'm just stepping around the traps, that's all. <laughs> Figured that. Smartest dude I know. <laughs> yeah, man, but you missed the session. Dude's talking parole. You're gonna have to see the judge. Hey, little brother, we got things to discuss, man. Later. I gotta get some words from my man. It was so humiliating for me, Yarna. I didn't feel like I could face people for a while. That's why I didn't go to the session, Your Honor. Just needed some time to be alone. You've appeared before me in the past, haven't you, David? Yes, sir. Well, how am I to determine your sincerity at this juncture? Pardon me, Your Honor. How's he supposed to know you're not putting him on? No, I'm not, Your Honor. I heard those convicts real good, and I'll go to those sessions regular from now on. Recommendations, Mr. Lipton? I recommend a continuance of parole, Your Honor. All right, David Sampson Monroe, your parole is continued under the same conditions. Also, I'm recommending you for a second visit to the state prison program. With the hope that you may come away this time with more than just embarrassment. You're dismissed. I have a meeting in chambers. The court is in recess until 1.30. Hey, Smash. I hope you meant all that, man. So, uh... Listen, uh, can you find your way home all right? Found my way down here, didn't I? Carl Jones sat in my office not three hours ago, and he said, we ain't going back to no pussyfoot and crap. It's not that they want to use only scare tactics. It's that they want the option if needed. Who decides that? They do. 
I don't know. We're taking a chance every time we send a child in there. And in fact, I've read some academic studies recently that question just how effective this kind of program is. Statistically, you know, the jury is still out. Your Honor, I, I can't believe that anyone in the field working with juveniles on a day-to-day -day basis who saw what I saw could even ask that question. We're dealing with individual lives here. And if even one kid goes straight, then it's worth it. I mean, Your Honor, we are not so bogged down with good approaches to the juvenile crime problem that we can afford to throw a promising one away just because it doesn't measure up to some computer model of perfection? Well, be honest, Paul. You know, you're talking about how those kids were just after the visit. How long does that afterglow last? <laughs> Let me put it this way, Your Honor. These kids have a tape loop running in their heads over and over and over. It starts when they're five, maybe six years old, and sometimes they play it all their lives. And you know what it says? It says, be bad. Be tough. Because you're nothing, living in a nowhere place, and nothing you do makes any difference. It's you or me in this world, so to hell with you. Take what you want. And getting caught is something to worry about only when it happens. Now, those convicts were able to do something in two hours that, that it takes me a year to do. They erase the tape. See it on the kids' faces. They were shocked, confused, blank. No, I mean, it's no magical transformation. And you're right. If I let them alone, that old crap would probably sneak right back there on the tape. But I'm not going to let them alone. See, I'm going to be on top of them. I'm after them. And I'm going to put some new stuff on that tape while it's still blank. I mean, just getting those young minds to listen for two hours is worth all the bullets we may have to bite. I insist, Your Honor, that we have to continue. All right. We'll let the skull sessions continue. Good, good. But I want to start keeping my own statistics. And I think that a parent should accompany each child, not into the shower room, as an observer. That'll allay some fears, I think. In fact, I think word of mouth amongst the parents might even help this program in the long run. Sure. Agreed? Fine with me? That's fine. Thank you very much, Your Honor. A violation of the penal statute 4482, misdemeanor possession of marijuana, and statute 1926, petty theft. How will the people proceed? Your Honor, in uh, view of the fact that Ms. Loring is a first-time offender, the people are prepared to drop all charges at this time. All right, Lucy Ann Loring, the people have moved not to press charges against you, and I've ordered the case terminated with the profound hope that this experience has been a strong lesson for you. Yes, sir. Thank you. You dismiss. Call Richard Michael Rakowski. The matter of Richard Michael Rakowski, charged in addition with violation of penal statute 4482-1, possession of marijuana for sale. Your Honor, to be a user of drugs is one thing, to be a provider is quite another. The people are charged in serious juvenile cases to research a youth's activities and record. We have oh conducted such investigations, giving testimony from citizens as to the youth's character and behavior, copies of which have been furnished to the court. I fear the community has little good to say about Richard Rakowski. In conclusion, the people find that Rakowski may indeed not be fit to be tried as a juvenile and request a fitness hearing. Very well, a hearing is granted. Richard Rakowski, you are hereby remanded to the custody of Tobin County Juvenile Hall. No! To await a hearing to determine your fitness to be entitled to the juvenile system of justice. And if you are found unfit, you'll be tried as an adult. Bailiff. This is wrong. Judge, he's only a boy. Richard, Where? Brad, you can't do this. He's Bailiff. only a boy. Bailiff. Brad, 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 they're crazy. Order. I don't know what they're Bailiff, talking sit down, miss. You, know, you can't, can't go with him. Right. They can't let you get out Will here. everyone please leave the court? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm sick and tired of it. You're coming home with me, and you're going to be grounded for the next home. month. I'm not going home, Dad. You're going to be grounded Dad, for the next month. Dad, did you put him in jail? You bet I did, and I'll do it again. Lucy, come back here. Lucy! 
No, I don't know where James is. Yeah, well, I do. James isn't in this group anymore. What? Why not? Can't you set some rules? Listen, whatever James needs from me to turn himself around, he's going to get, all right? So, Smash, let's talk about Scully, man. What do you think of that place? Bad. It scared you? Yeah. What do you think they were trying to say? Stay out. Did you know any of those guys? Nope. No, I mean, people like them on the street. Nope. Well, what scared you the most? Whole thing. I mean, was there any one thing that really got to you? Come on, man. You can tell me. Why not? Whole thing. So how do you see your future now? What? I'm talking to Smash. What kind of question is that? I'm talking to Smash. Just shut your face, Sam. Don't see nothing. You're just like a dog, you know that? That's right, you heard me, I said a dog. You got your nose in the dirt, sniffing around, hoping to get lucky. God, you're so dumb. Why don't you lift up your eyes, man? Take a look around, check it out, see what's really happening. Here, yeah, jump through the hoops. So what do you say? Say bow, wow. Lucy. this guy in here? He said that those fitness hearings, they almost always turn out bad. And then they, they send you up to Scully. <sighs> Just like they said, it's all coming true. No, not all. I'm gonna be here, you know. What happens when I've been in there for a year? What are you gonna think then? What kind of man am I gonna be? Oh, I'm, I, I'm not going in there. I can't, Lucy. I, I can't. I'd kill myself. Don't say that. Oh, no, Lucy, you don't know what it's like in here. I mean, this is it. Right here. This piece of glass. Look at this piece of glass. You tell me it's all going to work out. It's going to work out. Hey. Sam, I've been wandering around all day just kind of... Oh, no, it's okay, huh? For what it's worth, Lucy, I think Rack is serious about stopping dealing. He is serious. The thing I can't figure out is Judge Wadsworth. See, one minute he's bending over backwards to keep the skull sessions going, and then he turns around and he's okaying a hearing like That's this. That's not a mystery at all. My father and some of his friends talked to the DA. What? Wait. What? Yeah, he told me about it, and he was real proud of it, too. Believe it? No. I don't believe it. You know, my dad. A lot of what Rack did, I put him up to it, okay? I'm dating the worst kid in school, and that makes me hot. 
but I'm just as responsible for him. I don't know what to do, you know? I, I got to do something for him, and... and I, I just need some help or something. I don't know. We'll think of something. Lucy Loring? Yes. Step in here a minute. Just a girl, sir. Hi, Lucy. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. Have a seat. Lucy, I understand that you volunteered to go through this program a second time. I just thought I should tell you it hasn't changed. It's still brutal and frightening. Maybe more than you remember. Now, the men don't know you volunteered. When they recognize you, they'll be doubly tough, figuring that you really messed up. I know. It's not too late to forget the whole thing. No. This is the only way my father's going to see what goes on in there. You know? So. OK, wait outside. <laughs> Two hundred pounds of guts in a ninety-pound frame. This is Scully State Prison. You are now under my jurisdiction. Any violation of the law, and I can throw you in a cell right now. You understand? Once this gate closes behind you, you're dependent on me to let you out. If you think I'm kidding? Just try me. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold This doesn't belong to me. Hey, hey, come back. Close the back gate. Things here. Hey, hey, hold me. Uh, young boy. All right, you dudes better wake up. You better wake up to reality. What is? That's what I'm talking about. What is? Reality. Now, I deal with reality every day in this prison. Now, how many of you got pets? Talk to it. Come on. How many you got? A, you got a dog? A cat? Well, I'll show you my pet. Now, this is my pet. Now, they scramble on around on the floor all night under your bed. They fight. They kill each other. Run up and down the tier. Look at it! This is reality! In the morning, the first thing that you have to do is you have to empty two or three of these son of a gun out of your wastebasket. And when the man comes in and sprays cyanide and tries, look at it! When he sprays cyanide and tries to kill him, they call up my leg and they get in my bed. You understand what I'm saying? This is where I live, in prison. And this is my pet. He tried to fight me, and I killed him. I know. Come on, Carl. Talk to these turkeys. Sit up. Sit up there. Sit up. Sit Take up. your head off. Oh, you pay attention to me. You Take your head off, nigga. What's wrong with you? And you fat. What you doing in here? You think you're bad? Do you know grown men in here rape men every night? A young, fat-ass nigga like you coming in here thinking you bad, we will hear you scream every night. Now, what the hell are you gonna do in a man's prison where they knock it out and killing grown ass men? Who are you, punk? Boxing gloves on, Carl. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't nothing but meat in here, pork. And spoiled meat at that. Get your ass out in the street and straighten up. What's the name of this place? What's the name of this place? Scully. What? Scully. Scully. You call it Scully. In here, this is the Skull Bill. This is prison. This ain't no street corner game. Yeah, I heard you, you we don't know. Slick. What's that mean? Slick. Means you cool. Means you fast. Means you get over. You so fast with your hands and feet, can't nobody catch you. Is that right, Bobby? Right Am I using on, that right? Man. Right on, man. This man, he was slick. Had himself all that super fly crap. Had himself the car, women, clothes, drugs. Right, Bobby? Right on, man. Now, I don't care how slick you are today. Tomorrow is just another. Are you listening to me? No, he ain't. He ain't. He ain't. Get up. He's facing on you, man. Stand on your feet. Get up. Get this out of my sight. You've been here before. Move on down. Move on down, you white honky. I'm calling you. Boy, what is this, man? What's it going to take to reach you? 
What'd it take to reach you? Nobody reached me, man. That's why I'm in here. No, brother, that ain't why you in here. It's because your black face and your kinky hair the reason you in here. I mean, like my buddy Sam says, man, they want us to be good, but then they make sure that we never can. You, you got to have bread, right? So how else you gonna go about getting it than to take it? I mean, Sam says that... Who is this Sam punk? Hey, he's my friend, man. You know, and he's smart. You know, he sees it all clear. None of that pie in the sky, boogeyman scare him to death, Josh. And that's what you think this is about, huh? What else I'm supposed to think, man? Here you are jumping in my face talking about violating my body? Cause that's the way it is, man! You got any now we're telling you cats exactly how it happens. Just to get your attention. So have I got it? Talk to me, man. Man, where you gonna be five years from now? Hey, brother, it don't pay to look ahead. You just get over one day at a time. Oh, Sam says, right? No, I say so, too. So maybe I do wind up in here. Or maybe even dead. Now, what's it matter? It matters to me! Hey, look, I know you're trying to give me the skinny here, right? And I really appreciate it. But what difference does it make? I mean, what difference does anything make? Crazy, man. Huh? Huh? The NH told me, man. Sam says this, Sam says that. No, man, I give him a couple words for the judge, man. That's it. He don't listen to me. He does listen to you, man. Huh? You got to steal to get by? Don't think about the future. Just get over one day at a time? No. You know. See, you know that's bull, man. You know it's just some kind of rap, some game you've been running because you don't like me. But you've been running it on him, too. Look, man, what you been watching? What you been seeing, huh? Don't you see how the dude is? That's the way he is. Now, look, you ain't laying this on me, Mr. Councilman. Right? He don't listen to nobody. That's the way he is. He's the smash. I can't believe what I just heard. And you're accusing me of drawing my salary and then retreating to the suburbs, huh? And you're the one that doesn't give a damn, man! That's all right for you. You got enough respect for yourself to stay out of the skull. Well, that's good. That's good, Sam. We're all real happy for you. But I'm trying to get Smash a chance, too. I'm trying to give him something, you know what I mean? And you could help me, man. You could make a difference in his life. But no, no, you don't want to do that, man, do you? You ain't laying that stuff on me. No, no, you're just some kind of animal. He's just some kind of stone. He's just a smash. You make me sick. twice when I was in charge. Both times arson. No motive, just for kicks. It is just a fact of life in that neighborhood. You know, sometimes, Gene, I just want to take these kids, I just want to beat the hell out of them. Enough. So I went over to James's parents to mm -hmm. tell them about the fire. Mm -hmm. His mother told me that she'd been out of town and the father had been beating him up. Father's a charming, alcoholic type. So James had been hiding out at the center, sleeping there. In the center? Yeah. I mean, why... Why would he want to hide and lie rather than accept a little help? And I'd been making real progress with him, Gene. You know? I mean, I could feel ever since Scully, he'd been moving more and more away from the streets. I know. So why didn't he come to me? I mean, when do you win around in this game? I think I'll have another. Yvonne? Well, if it isn't 
the leader of the lynch mob. Uh-huh. No, no, Get come on, no. I want to see what this is like. I mean, they've been calling me Mr. Suburb Charlie all this time. I want to check out the genuine article. Huh? Paul. You know, your daughter's got a lot of guts, man. She deliberately went through that Scully thing just so you could see what it was like on the inside. So, come on, Paul. Uh, tell us, man. Uh, what's the upshot then there, sir? Did it open your eyes? You think you're real high and mighty, don't you? I'm going to tell you something. It's easy to buddy-buddy these kids. What ain't so easy is raising them. Come you on, got Paul. that. Having a kid and raising them. That takes a lot of guts. Mm -hmm. You got any kids? You saw what it was like inside there, and you still hey, want to send Rakowski? That's the way it's supposed to be in there. It's a prison. That's why you're supposed to stay out of places like that. Besides, you think I buy that? It's a show they're putting on for the kids. It ain't that bad in there. What? You believe that, man? You sat there and watched that. Those people were telling the oh. truth, man. Don't be a fool. You, sir, are a son of a bitch. Excuse my language, Gene. OK, excuse me, everyone. I was just having a little while. Uh... Hey, brother, you got to watch it, man. Well, you got to pee like a cat. What you doing, man? Hey, man, me and Dr. and Tyrone, we down on this lounge. Got him a name act tonight. Ought to be big bread. So what, you need a piece for this? I mean, man, like you said, just ripping off niggas and kids is a raggedy act. Got to move up sometime. Look, man, I say a lot of stuff already, but it don't mean nothing. What? I mean, mostly I don't mean it. It's an act. This is stupid, all right? Now, who you sound like now, man? Look, man, I'm standing in the man's shoes. I'm trying to talk to you, and you chumping me off. I'm down with doctor. You're going to get yourself five years, too. So what? <laughs> this ain't nowhere. A nickel in the skull is five times nowhere. I mean, do I got to come see you twice a week now, too? Give me that, man. What? Hey, man, let go of my gun, man. No, man. Get up. <laughs>
Scully program for teenagers. It's not for kids, man. Yeah, I know that, but uh, I just... Well, I just wanted to say that I thought the uh, session was real good, and I thought the um, idea was a real good idea. Don't tie up the line with all this crap, man. How many times a week would satisfy you, man? Well, it's not me personally. Well, it's me personally. I'm the one that lives in this toilet. I see it all the time. Kid comes in here. He ain't got no friends. Scared to death. He never figured on all this. Well, what do you do? What do I do, man? I turn out of bank. That's what I do. And later... I see all them hot boys clawing them up for their pleasure. They're passing them around for cigarettes. Now I can give him shelter. The kid works for me. I tell him, you go on back there and you rest yourself. You're under my protection. At least as long as you're in here making license plates. I turn my back. I make a joke. And later, while I'm helping the guard cut the kid down because he just stretched his poor, dumb neck with a bunch of rags. And that dead boy's arms fall around my neck like I was giving him a piggyback ride at the beach. Huh. Like, like we're at the zoo and he's up on my shoulders. So so as he can see the tiger. What I do, I feel rage, mister. Rage. Because I could have helped that boy. I could have done that boy some, some good. I could have showed him some kind of mercy. But uh, I forgot how. Um, you call back, Mister. You just remember now, these sessions are a condition of your parole. Right. Hey, Ron, you gonna take me home now? No, your mother's outside. She's waiting to take you home. She's looking good. My mother? Her too.
been scarred, scared. I've been scared and battered. My hopes the wind down done, done scattered. Snow has frizzed me. Sun has baked me. Looks like better between. Looks like between them, they done tried to make me stop laughing, stop loving, stop living. But I don't care. I'm still here. <laughs> Great, man. All right. Hey, Sam. How you doing? You sound great, man. <laughs> Thank you. Can you try now? Yeah, that other one. Some prisons now allow young lawbreakers behind the walls to meet hardened convicts and learn firsthand the realities of prison life in the hope that these sessions will deter many youngsters from continuing a life of crime. 